Hey guys, in this 3D Vista tutorial, I'm going to show you um, a very simple thing, uh, the drop-down menu. So the drop-down menu, um, it's quite useful if you just want to have like a quick navigation, uh, something where you don't need to create a full menu or something like that. So it's this button, you can select any of these, uh, just go there, go here and say, you know, media to show all media elements and then just preview this and as you can see uh, VG1, VG2, uh, VG3 um, and so this is like uh, Hoi, welcome in Amsterdam. Ik laat video. je graag zien hoe je... Hoi, welcome in like Amsterdam. Video. Ik laat je graag... So, it doesn't matter if it's a panorama, um, a video or like a 360 video. So it, it just all shows up. Um, some things we can do with the drop down menu. We can say, okay, you know, instead of all media elements, I want to say custom and say select and just say only these three panoramas and then say done. And then I got a preview and it shows only these three panoramas in the drop down list. So now these other uh, two are uh, not in the list. Um, something else to do. You can say only panoramas, only videos. Um, it, well, it's just pretty uh, self-explanatory. Um, Eligible as hotspot and videos. Um, I've got a tutorial on that. Propagate click to parents. Got a tutorial on that. Um, um, open panoramas in the same spot. Um, so that means that uh, right now when I look here and I go to VG2, it creates like this whole new thing. Instead of like that, it looks to the same side. So now I'm having this option checked and let's see the difference. So I'm looking to the right, VG2, and it stays to the same uh, x-axis of the panorama of the media. And so it doesn't matter if I look to the left or right, I change position and it just matches the that, that thing, the camera position. Um, horizontal alignment to the left. So that means the text VG3 is right now to the left. Uh, let's put this to the center and say preview. So now it's all centered down. 